today we're going to be introducing you to Newton. This is our new physics engine. Um, one of the things about robot learning is that we have a very, we have a very different requirement for physics. When you look at Mega, something that's going to be large world simulations, you need to have complex physics for you know large environments. So imagine trying to uh, simulate this entire show floor. But when you're doing robotics that's doing manipulation, you need something like, let's say, a hand on a, on a rigid body. And so that's actually a different type of, of physics complexity. And so what we really need is to be able to bring a framework that allows robot researchers uh, to take their own custom solver. Today we're going to be introducing you to Newton. This is our new physics engine. Um, one of the things about robot learning is that we have a very, we have a very different requirement for physics. When you look at Mega, something that's going to be large world simulations, you need to have complex physics for you know large environments. So imagine trying to uh, simulate this entire show floor. But when you're doing robotics that's doing manipulation, you need something like let's say a hand on a, on a rigid body. And so that's actually a different type of, of physics complexity. And so what we really need is to be able to bring a framework that allows robot research researchers uh, to take their own custom solver. So things like, um, if you imagine I'm squishing your microphone, that might be you know, a custom one from one lab and another lab may have something specific for interacting with a keyboard or sand or even you know you see t-shirt dynamics or if you want to have these. These are all you know, different types of solvers. And so what Newton does is it allows us to um, bring researchers work into the same framework so that way they don't have to keep creating band-aids for everything. If you imagine like a chef has you know their own tools and so they're always making different dishes, but everyone uses the same type of tools. And so we want to bring this toolkit to robot research as well because right now it's, it's everything is separate. And so the way that you can bring them together is two things. First is USD. USD allows you to bring assets and environments from one simulator to the next. And the second is a physics engine. By bringing a physics framework that allows you to go from something like Joko over to Isaac Lab or a custom simulator uh, or a robot, you know, the robot researching team can then leverage any of these toolkits without having to struggle to bring everything between. So like your father's keynote? I did, yeah. But the thing about these keynotes is um, everyone around the world gets to see probably one of the largest NVIDIA company conferences, right? Like this is almost a way for everyone at NVIDIA uh, to realize what this long-term vision is going to be. What are our main priorities? What are our goals for this year? Uh, we're showing the world this, and, and you know, the employees also, we, we get to learn and, and enjoy it as well. But I think the best is in all the videos.